And most of the flooding we saw today was in St. Charles Parish, specifically around Ormond Boulevard in Destrehan. Destrehan rather. Erica Ferrando has been there this afternoon. Erica, what are you seeing from where you are? Well, we know that there was flooding on streets all across St. Charles Parish. We're right here on Ormond Boulevard in Desterhand, and you can see that part of the street is still closed. I don't know if you can actually see, but there is actually a water line to kind of show you that water was several feet up here on Ormond Boulevard just a few hours ago, and luckily that water has started to go down. Now, some of the roads have opened back up, but several were closed for taking on at least a foot of water, and according to St. Charles Parish President Matthew Jewell, at least nine homes took in water. He explained that there was a lot of Rain in a short amount of time. He said when he checked, it was at least seven inches within an hour, according to one of the pump stations. And he says one of the issues is the railroad tracks in this area that block water from draining, almost acting as a levee. He says that they have several projects being discussed to try and improve drainage, like making those culverts underneath the railroad bigger. Now, many people out here are spending their evening cleaning out their homes and their yards. I spoke with one family who lives on Ormond Boulevard, whose home flooded May 14th, and luckily this time they didn't not get water into their home, but they did get about three inches in their garage. It's more than just a lot of rain in a short period of time. They've got to do something to improve the drainage system in this parish because it's the same places that continue to get the water that's just coming up and holding no matter how much rain they're getting. One problem Parish President Jewell says is these newer subdivisions being built that are impacting the drainage of the older homes, but I'll tell you how he hopes to fix that tonight at 10.